This is no prank. The Prince of Puns is a proficient pianist. Stay tuned for my weekend Six Figs update and see the clown master of mayhem make over the manor. Same bat time, same bat channel. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here with a Six Figs update. That's right, an update just for Six Figs theme park. Now, as you know, this is not a full city update, so I'm not going to have a lot of stories or anything like that, but what I will have is showing you a new attraction that I've added to Six Figs theme park. So as we pull back here, um, you can see that the theme park is bustling, lots of people and all that kind of stuff, but way back behind that big roller coaster is something special. Let's go take a look. Okay, as we pan through the park, we see the normal stuff, but hey, what is that in the back? What is that back there shining through between the haunted house and the roller coaster? Oh my goodness, it is. It is the Joker Manor. And that's right, the Joker Manor is back there and we just built that puppy. And I'll tell you what, it took forever because I wasn't able to do it all in one sitting. But anyway, it is back there and it is really looking cool. I want to talk about it and tell you what I did and kind of show you how I added it to the theme park so that you can see how it plays in the overall um, scheme of Six Figs. So let's go take a closer look. Okay, now uh, I debated on whether or not I wanted to set this uh, straight as like the big roller coaster here or if I wanted to offset it diagonally facing, uh, where's my finger here, facing that way um, or if I wanted to put it in this position here. And uh, both uh, Piper and Adrian um, and myself, we all thought that this was the best position for this um, because this way you can see it when you're walking through Six Figs and it becomes kind of another central attraction. Now it's so huge, it can't help but become a central attraction. But the nice thing is that as you're walking along here and walking along, um, whether you're on this side of the river or on that side of the river, um, when you look at it, let's just kind of take a, a figs view here, maybe down here. Um, when you look at it, you can kind of see your eyes gaze up at it and there's something that uh, really catches your attention. And if you have little kids with you, they're gonna be like, mom, dad, let's go over there, look at that. Uh, and so we added it in this orientation. Now, to put something diagonally in Lego because everything is so straight always is fun. Now, what's, but basically I'll show you what I did when we go behind it um, to get it diagonal. Actually, it is stuck to the base plate, so it does not move. Um, but if you notice, we put a path, we tried to use the same colors that uh, the Joker Manor used, the purples, the, the, the lime greens and the, the greens and the yellows and, and that, uh, I'm not sure, magenta or whatever you call it there. Um, but we outlined that path. Now you see the path is not diagonal, but the path goes straight up to the entranceway. And it looks, it looks like the Joker has a, has a yard sale going on. So I guess he's getting rid of all the Batman stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, oh, the bat record, the batarang the bat merch, all the bat pictures, and of course, the tool belts. Huh, I'm not sure, he should save one of those tool belts because if you remember, I think in episode five of the original classic Batman series, the Joker made his own tool belt and was almost indestructible until Batman and uh, the Boy Wonder, of course, um, saved the day. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, this is just kind of how I did it. I still need to add some more vegetation, but as you see, I started so as you're walking from the other roller coaster, you start to get the impression with the lights and the color and stuff that you're going to go into something fun. Um, I also added over here the cotton candy machine. So I'm going to make a cotton candy kiosk right there as well. Now, right now it's just sitting on that empty base plate, but uh, that will look kind of cool as well, given the fact that Joker has a penchant for cotton candy. So let's go around and take a look at the back. All right, before we take a look at the back, let's take a look at the side. So as you're coming in through here, so you can see that it still has a presence. Um, if you're a fig and you're walking on this sidewalk, you look up and you see this ha 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 and the spire of the tower there. Um, and so it does really have a presence from just about any angle you view it here in Six Figs. And of course, there's that dirt path or that sand path that's gonna to connect 
to the two paths that you see. I didn't have enough gray, light bluish gray bricks to uh, make that path continue. But the uh, magenta side of the uh, walk is the entrance way to Joker Manor. And the purple side of the walk is the exit. Uh, and then we'll show you the back as well. But you see it, it does have from all different angles that you view it from the park. Even over here, um, if you're on the gondola ride and you're looking at it, um, you do get a chance to see uh, kind of all around it and it looks really really cool um, so now let's go take a look at the back so this is the back um, and as you can see it fits nicely in there there's still room right here for the train to go by um, it will just miss this joker shrine uh, but there is still actually there's a 12 stud difference there um, so the train has ample room to go by um, I placed it right here uh, if you recall we have the Prince of Persia sets and I'm going to make this gauntlet into a ride I did have it right here but what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to put a graffiti wall all the way down through here with a bunch of Joker graffiti on it now I have an idea of how I'm going to do that so that way when you're looking at it you won't see the Prince of Persia you'll just see the wall with a lot of the Joker uh, um, villain DC villain faces and things on it so um, I'm hoping to uh, commission someone to do that for me uh, and uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty well so anyway so this is it let's take a look closer um, so you come in here and well first of all for those of you I know we, there are many many reviews on this set so you don't really have to I'm not going to give a, a full review on this set but there is some really there are some really cool things in this set as you can see what I did was I did add these two things because of course Joker is selling Batman's pictures um, and so I added those two signs a fallout shelter in there is that Arkham uh, Asylum sign for um, uh, that was in the Arkham Asylum set uh, so anyway so that's going on there um, we just kind of had uh, everything lined up I did make this 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 canopy for the platform because I thought you know what every platform for roller coasters and stuff has a canopy and so I made it with the colors of the Joker Manor um, with those two stanchions there and uh, um, basically just used uh, some uh, um, jumpers to put those on on a diagonal level and I used these uh, steps from one of the friend sets that look like exclamation points and I thought what what better thing to use for a Joker ride than exclamation points? So I put that there as well. Now, the other thing I did was make a Joker shrine, and you can see the back of the uh, brick head that is Joker, and I'll uh, flip it around there and uh, show you that. I gotta tell you, this is a hard one to uh, video because of just the, the way it is. It faces the steps um, up to the, uh, to the roller coaster at the platform, but I thought having a shrine to the Joker and having some sort of a nice uh, um, statue for the Joker, that would be in his style to do that. So, Okay, so you can kind of see uh, my camera was, was, uh, was right here. So you can kind of see that. So anyway, so we have the platform there. We have the entrance. And what I did was try to uh, simulate kind of a tongue because uh, that's kind of the theme there, right? With his tongue sticking out for that slide. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you put a figure up here and pull this out, he slides down here. Well, if he slides down here, he's going to end up right next to the Joker statue right here. But I tried to put this to simulate a tongue so that way it just kind of goes uh, and, and again it's not diagonal or anything and I could have done it diagonally but um, given just it's a lot easier not to um, in terms of uh, the actual tiles and stuff uh, but I still think it looks good I am going to try to trim um, some of this edging up and stuff like that uh, so that way uh, um, the, 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 the patrons come through the main door and of course down in there is where our hall of mirrors is um, and of course there's some stuff for uh, Wayne Manor, or now Joker Manor, I guess, um, some things like that. Um, and anyway, they come through here, they walk through on the tongue basically, go all the way around and here's the queue line. They stand in the queue and then they go up onto the platform, onto the roller coaster. And then of course the roller coaster um, goes up the hill and uh, goes around. Um, whee! So anyway, and it doesn't go around because it's not an automatic coaster. But uh, it does uh, get some, uh, get a little bit of uh, air if you push it there. Um, so anyway, so then after they get off the coaster, they naturally come back down the queue line and walk back out where they will be met with the other walkways to go into 
the adventure land or go straight over um, and that sort of thing. Now back here, um, they will there will be, like I said, the Prince of Persia, Persia sets. Um, and then there'll be another table, more tables back here with our carousel, our mixer. And of course we have a huge um, Jurassic uh, World area that we're putting back here with the Ewok Village and, um, and some stuff like that. So it's just gonna make it uh, the Western uh, sets and all that kind of stuff. So that's the Joker Manor roller coaster as I have it right now. I still need to add, I'm going to add right in here, I'm actually adding a game room and I'm going to put some video machines and some things like that um, because I think that the Joker Manor would be a place that people would play video games and just kind of have fun and stuff like that. So I have some video game machines. I'm going to build kind of a little kiosk right here and then that way um, they'll be able to play some video games while looking at all the wonderful um, stuff that is inside of the Joker Manor. So that's about all I have for the Joker Manor. Um, I hope that, uh, that that you like the way I've positioned it in Six Figs. Um, please let me know down in the comments below whether or not I've uh, done okay with it or whether uh, um, you think it stinks. Uh, hopefully you don't, but uh, I tried my best to uh, accommodate uh, um, the coaster and, and, and set it in a spot that would go very well, I think. Uh, and of course, um, we got to get rid of all that Batman merch over there um, and all those all those things. So uh, I hope that uh, Bruce Wayne, I mean, uh, Batman doesn't, uh, I mean, uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, well, I hope that he doesn't find out. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's about all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? Smash that like button if you like this video. Um, and and uh, share this if you'd like. And if you're so inclined, subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Remember, I am available on the socials and I am a member of the Brick Tubers Network. And if you are watching this on June 11th, on June 12th at 8 a.m., me and GJ Bricks, go check out his channel. He's got a great channel, especially if you love trains. Uh, GJ Bricks, he and I are going to be part of the 72 hour live stream that's going on. So our time slot is from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now Greg's all the way down under in Australia, so he'll be doing it late. I'll be doing it early in the morning, but if you're in the States, it is at 8 a.m. So with that, please check me out on the socials at Dr. McBrick or drmcbrick.com or on Facebook at Dr. McBrick. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.